Hello YouTube audience, today I would like to show you a personalization app. Uh, as you can see it's a lock screen replacement app and uh, it's currently in the market for free. Under 1 megabyte in size and it does require Android 2.2 Froyo or up, uh, that is worth noting. Uh, so let's get into the app review. As you can see it replaces your uh, lock screen, just unlock here. Uh, start off with the app, you simply download it and you get presented with this. Settings are fairly basic, uh, it allows you to enable Magic Locker and en enable the menu button uh, while on the lock screen and obviously you can choose a system wallpaper or use a stock wallpaper. There is a theme tab at the top which allows you to access your themes, uh, whether they be paid or free. If you can see, all these themes here are currently free. Um, there are a couple of paid ones on the market, uh, not a lot at time of recording, uh, but as you can see there's a fairly few um, free ones. I'll just apply one here, you simply click on it, click on apply, uh, there we go. It should then come up, as you can see, as like a tester if you like. I've used the iPhone one here, just unlock that and it will uh, come up as your home screen. Now there is um, another, when you install the app, there's actually it's kind of a two app program if you like, you click on the other one and it brings up the lock screen, that's a tester, you know, uh, just to test if the lock screen works. And just lock my phone here, it does kick in straight away, it's a very fast lock uh, screen replacement app as you can see, uh, which is very nice because I know a lot of the other ones take about 5 to 10 seconds to work. Um, okay, I don't know what's happened there. Must be a bug of some kind. Just edit that out. Okay, hey, so I'm back. I had to kill the app manually. I've never had that problem before, and I've had the app for about a month. Uh, I had to go into applications and just force close the app, and it seems to have fixed it. So uh, we'll carry on. As you can see, I've just applied this theme here, Samsung Galaxy S theme. Uh, it allows you to access your messages by dragging and dropping. I'll let you read my messages. Not that there's anything interesting in them anyway. <laughs> and it also allows you to access your call history. As you can see, there's a slight delay there, about like two, three seconds. Dragging this uh, tile or whatever you want to call it, and there's my call history. Not all the apps or the themes, sorry, have these shortcuts. Um, I know, for instance, most of them don't like the iPhone one. We're just going to a couple of the other themes here just to show you. We're going to the Sense theme. Uh, as you can see, this is the common HTC Sense 3.0 theme. As you just drag and drop applications into the ring to uh, instantly launch them. Uh, it doesn't allow you to change the icons, so you cannot change what application it launches. You are stuck with um, call history, if you like, music, camera, and messaging. It's probably the most common used apps anyway. Uh, and that is my overall review of this um, of this app, uh, Magic Locker Main. It's called in the app market. I'll put a link to it in the description. As you can see, it's a very nice, very sleek looking lock screen, and definitely one I recommend trying out. Anyway, that's been me. Thank you for watching.